What's up guys, in this episode we're out with Cody and Trace on the hunt for some big halibut. The multi-species bite was on as well, and we even made a 600 foot deep pit stop for some rockfish. Things were looking good until the motor stalled right as a super sketchy fog pushed in on us out of nowhere. Yeah, look at that fog rolling in. Yeah, dude, fast. It was a pretty wild adventure. Stick around and check it out. You're watching Dude Fish TV. I'll be starting on the Dio Alexa 400 paired with an Okuma PCH Custom 8 foot 30 to 60 pound rod. It didn't take long to start getting bit. Cody beat the skunk for us early, reeling in this dope looking fish. I've never seen one in real life before, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. Nice lean caught. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you guys caught that, but check out Trace coming in clutch, completely unfazed by the net handle that just broke in her hand. She drops it like it's hot and nets that fish no problem. Yeah, dude. Awesome. Check out the teeth on this guy. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, he, oh. Did. Well, he did take you into the rock. Uh, sure. Yeah, cool. The tree fish was cool, but that's not the fish I'm looking for. Cody has a little rockfish honey hole almost 600 feet deep nearby, so we push out a little deeper and head that way. He makes the first drop just to check it out. He was probably 400 feet down when suddenly the motor shut off out of nowhere. Right over. Fortunately, it was a quick fix, but it still took long enough to deal with that we didn't even notice how fast the super thick fog was pushing in on us. I'm not going to say I was freaking out, but I didn't know what was going on, and the thought of being stranded in a thick fog on Labor Day weekend did not sound like the most excellent of plans to me. Yeah, look at that fog rolling in. Yeah, dude, fast. You're pretty sporty out here, boys. Yeah. After getting things back up and running, Cody hooks into something on the first drop, 590 feet deep. What do you think, two or one? Two. two. Nice ones. That's a rip. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go. <laughs> it was pretty cool to see these rockfish caught that deep. That's a long freaking way to reel up from. I was exhausted just watching him. Unfortunately, we had to get out of there before I could drop my line. Things were getting a little bit too sketchy. We head back to some calmer conditions and hopefully find that nice flatty we're looking for. Nice, dude. Of course it took no time at all for these two to start getting bit. These are two of the most dialed in anglers I know out here. It's pretty incredible to be fishing the same rig, same setup, same bait, same spots, and to watch them be getting bit. Definitely shows you they know what they're doing. Yeah, rad. That was awesome. Well, with lunch acquired, we make a couple more stops back outside the bay, see if we can pick up a few more before heading home. Oh, yeah, dude. There it is. Yeah. This one was just short of legal. That's a bummer, but the bite does seem to be slowing down. So we make one more pit stop to bleed this fish, and I cross my fingers and hope I can get one more before calling it a day. Got him. Got him. Oh, it is a goalie. Ah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Dude, we're knocking some species off of this right? today, though. Variety day. Variety. I like it. Yeah. Sweet. It's taken several months for our schedules to line up to make this session happen today. Cody and Trace are legit sticks, and it was an honor to spend some time together hanging out and getting bit with them. Truly, this is what fishing is all about. Good times, good vibes, good friends. Catching a fish is just a bonus. If you guys like this episode, be sure you stick around and check out this one right here. The worst thing you could do is stop watching Dude Fish TV, so be sure you hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.